um, Dr. Brendan, anything to add on this? Yes, and, and Benjamin gave me a, a good lead in. Um, I started showing a slide in the late 90s in, in my PowerPoint slides, and it was on a universal platform. And I think we've seen that now with Netflix, Amazon, things like that. We've seen universal platforms, but one of the difficult, well, there's been two difficulties in healthcare. Number one, your equipment doesn't work with my equipment doesn't work with the next person's equipment so a clinician wanting to get started has a lot of difficulty doing this it also makes it very difficult to uh, put into electronic health records or for a health system to put into clinical pathways so we need something that is more agnostic in its ability to work with different technologies and different softwares number two is we need the training in place and i sit on um, a board of a nonprofit that is accredited by the American Psychological Association, and we're trying to do that now. We've run trainings in 23 countries teaching clinicians how to use technologies, because just like Dr. Ali said, with teachers not knowing how to use them, clinicians definitely don't know how to use the technologies well, and we need to remember they're just tools. We need to have good clinical skills, but then use them appropriately.